Hey, thanks for joining me again. Travis from The Knife Joker. Today we're taking a look at this Riot K3. Just random video. Um, once again, yeah, we used to be the Travis Van Way channel. Now, The Knife Joker channel. We quit posting videos on the other channel, really. So, now I just randomly post off videos over here on The Knife Joker channel whenever we want and no studio or anything like that. Just once again, random videos on whatever knife I'm feeling at the time. And in all reality, well, we haven't done a video in, man, geez, probably, probably a month. So if you do follow the channel, which, well, hit that subscribe button. They say hit the bell, which I never used to know about that. But yeah, hit the bell, I guess, and you'll see every time video pops up so today just thinking man i love these uh riot knives and i have for for years well i've had this one for years and i probably have done a couple of random videos already on the riot k3 just thinking yeah i love these things just so underrated even the videos on the k k3 are not very well watched, I don't think. Just kind of go over it real quick. Um, I like big knives, so what is it, about 3.8 inch, 3.7 inch knife there? You can see those titanium bead blast, titanium scales. Those carbon fiber inserts. Yeah, Riot does a nice job on those inserts. K3, these inserts are just barely recessed into the titanium. And it's funny, over time, there's so many um, angles on these K3s. Over time, I, sometimes you don't notice. Well, I, I, I didn't notice at first all the different um, subtleties in the cutouts and so forth. Well, I noticed some of them, but as you have it over time, noticed more and more. Oh, one of the things, let me just shake your video. Holding my phone, camera, huh. and holding the knife. No table involved here today. But yeah, one of the things I've, you first notice, and of course this being carried for a couple years now, is the the finish on the uh, backspacer on the side there, oh no, it won't focus, is um, polished. And then bead blast down inside, bead blast on the edge, but polished on this edge. Um, I didn't describe that very well, but hopefully you saw it. Of course, another thing I noticed right away was how the lock bar does stick down just a little bit below the front scale so it's a little easier to get into the unlocking of the back lock bar I was saying this is one of the first well, I said on videos before one of the first Riot the best chipping on pretty much any Riot is still I think it might still be even years later that chipping is just so consistent and finished. Of course, if you follow the channel, yeah, I love Spyderco knives, but well, their jimping is, um, well, it's not that most consistent sometimes. Although the Spyderco is a little sharper. Uh, so, this jimping, work, it works well. Not super sharp, just super consistent. And we see those four holes in the knife. That little, it's not bead blast down there. It's kind of a, what would you call it? Orange peel-ish. Yeah, it's like a Todd big thing. Of course, well, so is this ceramic ball on the, on the clip that's, uh, I don't think they patented these things, but you know, knife makers do certain things and um, they're known for it over time. 
and well kind of respected for it as well i don't think most i do like the knife community is they don't just generalizing they don't overrun each other so much of course there's all the cloning going on but meaning just they don't usually steal each other's ideas too much although just Riot and uh well Todd Begg and David Dang being I guess say so friends that they were or working partners that they were you know um he uh, actually asked him to use these and he didn't just start doing it so uh you're saying yeah that ceramic bowl I don't think it was patented by Todd Begg no but yeah, actually, David um, was given permission to use the the holes here on this blade too. I think as well. Um, they try not to overrun each other design too much. I see that like a harpoon tip, long harpoon tip, so to speak. Uh, you know, I guess most harpoon tips are way out there by the tip. That's a big harpoon tip. And it's funny, all in all, and well, generalizing. Probably should have done this video the other way, sideways. Um, recorded it up and down on my phone. I don't know how well it'll come out, but I will just go with it. These look the crazy online. I was just thinking, yeah, these look sort of crazy online. Um, when you get one in hand, man, they're comfortable. Uh, just a hair heavy, but again, like big knives, I, I think it's between four and a half or five ounces. Um, probably right around five ounce mark. We'll see how smooth these K3s are. And centered. Of course, being a Riot knife. You're gonna expect it to be centered, and um, it will not come out halfway on the on the opening. Um, Those Riot knives—they have enough detent to where, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna open, they're gonna close, they're gonna be centered, and then that's what you're paying for. And once again, generalizing, Riot knives four hundred dollars ish, you know, a little more, a couple, a little less. But yeah, uh, you know, you're gonna want that quality. I mean, just saying. K3 flipper, probably one of the best flippers, really, the flipper tab, and the shape, the flipper tab shape, probably really one of the best designs um, on the market. I mean, is it a little big? Uh, I don't think so. There's some smaller ones. It's just got kind of like a 50 degree angle there or, or, or something. You know, most of them have like a um, like a pull and a push, two different sides. This is just, you know, it's just a pull. So it's got that almost a 45 degree angle or so. Just making it super easy, super easy to flip open. That sticks down super easy to close. Once you get past that detent, um, pretty smooth. Another thing noticed about those K3s is just the clip. I think mine's a little dirty in there somehow. I've carried it for years, but that's probably why. The clip, it works really well. Um, pretty strong down there. Nice in and out of the pocket. Just saying the way it was milled. Even the tip is what I was impressed with right here. Yeah, on the tip of it. A little extra skinny to get past that pocket on your jeans. Um, right there at the tip. Well, a lot of pocket clips just aren't milled to this extent. Oh, there's another angle on it. I actually noticed another thing today after years. There's a one hour angle right here on the front. 
I didn't notice, but I angled, I, you know, I noticed how it angled up. So man, they did, there's just so many annoying angles on this, even just the clip here, chamfered edge, and that edge, and angles up, one angles up in there. One more angle. Oh, I could go on and on about it. He almost could. It's, it's crazy. So yeah, where do they put the little milled out spots? Um, man, it's great in hand. <laughs> Once again, I think I should have filmed the video um, sideways on my phone, so to speak, instead of up and down. But 10 minutes in, well, 11 minutes in now. I don't think I'm going to throw it out, so to speak. Of course, the Riots, you know, have that steel insert inside the titanium hidden in there. Also, the lock bar over travel stop, so you can just shove it as hard as you can. If you close it, you're not going to shove it too far. A little fancier pivot on the K3 here. And see the stop pin right there? Um, pretty far from the edge. I mean, I've never had a problem with the Riot. Sometimes people say this, though. The stop pin... It was close to the edge. Uh, well, everything about this knife, just beefy. You see how thick that spine is. And well, once again, quite a few angles here. They bring that tip down. Uh, look how thick that is by the tip. That's a hard working knife right there. I mean, yeah, use it. Use it your whole life. Give it to your kids when you when you go when you go away when you go on, and um, probably still be probably still be solid. You know, no no blade play whatsoever uh, on the on these Riot knives. Or you know, all the K3 here, all all of them. So, all right. Well, another random video, just uh, saying whatever's on my mind. Got the Riot K3 here, and all the Riot, uh, so many things I've said here, just go for all the Riot knives in general. Hopefully you can handle some. If you're ever in, uh, well, yeah, if you're ever in Bishop, California, stop by and, and just handle them. Um, they're fun to handle. Great knives uh, to check out in person. And thanks for watching the video. If you like what you see, you know, once again, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, they say, and we'll see you next time. Take care.